Yeah, I can't see any reason at all to have a republic because uh, these crooked people that are running Australia today, the corporations, um, who are we going to get as the new Republican leader? Another corporate leader and uh, unaccountable. And as, as Rhonda strengthened my argument a minute ago, she said that the British law, <coughs> you're innocent until uh, proven guilty, I go all the way with it, <coughs> that's under the Magna Carta, the Bill of Rights, trial by jury, so on. Anyway, um... Oh, well, Nostradamus was an occultist, so... Well, he's a... He might have made a profit somehow. Well, I don't know whether it came true or not. But anyway, the point about it is, um, British law, if it's, if it's administered properly, gives you the right to trial by jury. I lost my farms, no trial by jury at all. Just a friggin' summary judgment, just the same as in a French, you might as well have been in the French system under, the, uh, under those crooked Republicans that set up Freemasonry and they sent the uh, Statue of Liberty to uh, America for their fellow Freemasons over there. But anyway, getting back to Australia, uh, the other day I saw, had a talk to Joe Hockey for about two minutes. See, he wasn't here, he said he was here last week. And uh, I said to Joe Hockey, nothing, nothing what about uh, having trial by jury? No, there's nothing. Look at uh, it, take your photo. Before we lose our properties. He says, oh, 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 I have a think about that. Anyway, one of his minders, the Victorian, one of the uh, Victorian blokes, uh, Kim Wells, grabbed hold of him and off to down to have a booze up. Anyway, uh, he said, Joe Hockey said to me, well, here's another bloke who can help you, Mr. Kirk from New South Wales. In the parliament, I said, well, what, what we're thinking about is we need trial by jury before we lose our property. He said, uh, we're not in government, we can't do anything about it. So anyway, um, Today, what's that? What did you say? You ride the bike, which is against the law. You got no, no right. What, today, are you, what are you uh, talking about, idiot? Today, Rudd said. Yeah, you are. Rudd he said he's talking to the banks. Unregistered. Trying to hear, oh, trying to hear the speaker. Rhonda. He's talking. Um, it's a global financial crisis. What are you worried about? A few bucks in the kitty of the crooked Victorian government. Exactly. So anyway, uh, Rudd said today he'll talk to the banks, and what they're going to do is. Any worker who loses his job, they're going to give them a year with no payments to the bank. They will accumulate it over the year, uh, but there's no move on foreclosure over that year. Now, I'm not a Labor bloke particularly, but I wrote a letter to Rudd a while back about trial by jury and all this, about farmers losing their properties. So, I don't think I can take credit for what Rudd's done, but uh, however, he's moving in the right direction as far as um, holding oh, the banks where back. Is, where are you and as I said to Hockey the other day, we're backing the banks now. Uh, the little butler in the street has banked the banks, banked the bank, backed the banks by, by. Um, Rudd's movement of of uh, guaranteeing them so that we have guaranteed it by our taxes for, for the next 30 or 40 years. And I said to Hockey, well, what about what about holding off on the banks? So I said, we paid for it. Oh, I think about it. And I said to the other bloke, well, 
and you're going to oppose it if it comes up in Parliament. So I didn't know Rudd was going to, to pull this out of the bag of talking to the banks and, and telling them to back off. So that was good. Maybe that came from the G20. Maybe it came from America because Barack Obama and different ones there have said um, we're sick of people getting sold up and their houses sold for nothing. We're going to do something. Uh, I didn't hear England say what they were going to do, but at least America's <laughs> moving in the right direction. And possibly, um, and possibly Rudd's been um, an architect of the thing, or maybe he's been just sort of pushed along with the tide. So I, I welcome that uh, from Rudd. You know, you've got to give some credit where it's due. Um, it's a terrifying experience to get sold up and chucked out on the road and have the sheriffs throw all your stuff out on the road and, um, and move you on. It's very cruel and it's quite unnecessary. It breaks the heart of children <coughs> to see their parents can't provide for them anymore or it doesn't look like they can. They're humiliated at school and things like that. So um, this was on the lines of Jack Lang years ago in the 1930s. He was a proper Labor minister and, and what he said was, we're not paying the English banks back. They can go and get stuffed. We're in a crisis. So, so that's what he did. But the problem was the English sent out a, a tough governor um, and the uh, Bank of England got onto him. And in the end, <laughs> they turfed, they turfed Jack Lang out, but he was a true Australian who cared about the people. Other matters, other matters were, um, it's not, it's not a big deal, she's just dramatising it.